and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God, and today I have a message for you from the Lord that has eight scriptures. All eight scriptures are taken from the King James Version of the Bible. The first seven I will recite for you now, and the last one will be in a separate video after this prophetic word. The first scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 24 through 30, and it reads, Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servants said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. The second scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verses 41 through 42, and it reads, Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. The third scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 6 through 10. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. The fourth scripture is the book of John, chapter 15, verses 11 through 14, and it reads, these things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. The fifth scripture is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 4, verses 16 through 17, and it reads, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. The sixth scripture is the book of Second Timothy, chapter 4, verse 7, and it reads, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. The seventh scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verses 7 through 13, and it reads, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews that are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I, will also, I, I also will excuse me, 
keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Now for the message received from the Lord God on October the 5th, 2024. Many have sacrificed and know what it is to suffer. They have endured through it all and have still praised my name. I will do the same for them when they stand in judgment at my feet. I will defend them to the Father. The day will be sweet. It will be a meet and greet. It will happen so suddenly. You will be standing on solid ground one moment, and the next you shall be lifted up into the air to see me face to face. The race is over, my beloved faithful church. No more crying or being left in the lurch without a roof over your heads. No more dreading another day of despair, for I am taking all of this heartache away in the air. It is so very near. Oh, yes, it is so very close to happening. Can't you feel it? Something major is shifting in the spiritual realm. I am sifting through my children now. I am gathering my chosen elect now. I am closing off the window of opportunity for the lost and lukewarm to be ready for the harpazo. If you don't already know about this imminent event, you may be left behind for further refinement. Only the prayers of the intercessors will tip the balance in your favor now, my beloved lost ones. The time is late, and I cannot wait much longer before the war is arriving at your shoreline, America. All is not fine. I am taking mine up without delay. I am gathering my church of Philadelphia right away. I am bringing my own home to their mansions on New Jerusalem. You will be shocked and amazed at how customized your abodes will be to your tastes. I will not discount any of my faithful sheep's discriminating palates. Every detail has been taken into consideration. You will look at your new homes with much admiration and gratitude. The former things of this world will be a distant memory, a mere vapor unto thee. I am coming to set the captives free. Are you ready? Ready or not, I am bringing up the bride who've kept their lamps trimmed with oil. Anyone with soiled garments will be turned away. They will be relegated to wait on my return trip. Don't slip out of my hand now, for now is the time to ascend with me. Get on bended knee. Repent and ask me with a contrite heart to forgive your sins. I will forgive you once you've humbled yourselves at my feet. I am separating the wheat from the tares. If you have done this, then you will receive my free gift of salvation. It is waiting for all of my children who are in me and I in them. 
I desire a much more personal relationship with you, so draw nearer to me and we shall embark on a grand adventure of friendship for an eternity. With everlasting love, Jesus, your blessed hope and eternal friend. Now, as I'm recording this, I notice there's another tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico. And if it becomes a hurricane, which they're predicting it will become a hurricane, it's going to be named Milton. And I looked up the meaning for Milton, and it means mill town. And I looked up the scripture that it brought me to, which was Matthew chapter 24 verse 41 and I will read that for you one more time and you will understand why I believe there is no coincidence with this scripture Matthew 24 verse 41 two women shall be grinding at the mill the one shall be taken and the other left. The forecast is that it should arrive in around 72 hours. So I'm recording this late on a Saturday evening. So it could arrive late Tuesday. Could that be the time that we ascend with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Church of Philadelphia? I hope so, and may God bless you. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. The book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 32.